Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're going to look at a lead code problem and the problem's name is remove duplicates from sorted list. So in this question, we're given the head of a sorted linked list. We need to delete all the duplicates such that each element appears only once and we need to return the linked list in sorted order as well. So let's take a look at this example and see how this question can be solved. I've taken the same example they gave us. Let's take a look at the first example. So the head is pointing at the first node and the last node is pointing to null. So our task is to remove duplicate elements. So it means that if there are duplicates, both of them will be adjacent to each other. Like in this case, these two are duplicates. So we have to remove one of them. For that, let's start off by creating a current node which will be pointing at the head of the linked list. And this current node will iterate till current is not equal to null. It means that we reach the end of the linked list. So until current and also we have to check if current dot next is not equal to null because we are going to compare the current node with the next node. So we are going to access a node which is ahead of current. So we also have to check if current dot next is not equal to null. Until then we run a while loop. So now we check if current dot val if it is equal to current dot next dot val that is also equal to one. If that is the case we take current dot next and point it to current dot next dot next and we remove the connections in between. So current is now here. Now we check if current is not equal to null. No current is not equal to null but current dot next is equal to null. So we end the iteration and now we can return the head of the linked list. So our output will look like this and therefore we can return the head of the linked list. So this will be our output. Now let's take a look at the second example. So we start off by creating a current node which is pointing to the head of the linked list and we run a while loop until current and current dot next is not equal to null meaning we reach the end of the linked list. Now we have to check if current dot val which is equal to 1 is equal to current dot next dot val that is also equal to 1. So we make current dot next point to current dot next dot next and this connections will be removed and now current is pointing here. Now current is not equal to null and also current dot next is also not equal to null. So we can proceed. Now we check if current dot val is equal to 2. If it is equal to current dot next dot val, no it is not equal to 3. So we simply move the current pointer to the next node. So current will now point to current dot next. So current is now pointing here. Now again current is not equal to null and also current dot next is also not equal to null. So we can proceed. Now current dot val is equal to 3. And current dot next dot val is also equal to 3. So you point current dot next to current dot next dot next. So current dot next is here. It will point to current dot next dot next. And current will move to that node. Now current is pointing to null. So you can end the iteration. And finally we can return the head of the linked list. So our output will look like this. And you return the head of the linked list. So this will be our output. Now let's take a look at the Java code. Coming to the function they have given us. This is the function name. And this is the head of the linked list called head and we need to return the head of the linked list after performing the operation. So the return type is also list node. As I've said, let us create a current node and point it to head. Now we have to iterate until current is not equal to null and also current dot next is also not equal to null. Now inside this while loop we have to check if two adjacent nodes are having the same value. So if current dot val is equal to current dot next dot val. So if current and current dot next have the same value, we have to point current dot next to current dot next dot next. So here in this case, current was here and current dot next is here. Both are having the same value. So current dot next will point at current dot next dot next. And in the else block, it means that two adjacent nodes are not having the same value. That is the opposite of this statement. Else block will be executed. So if current is here and current dot next is here, two and three are not equal. So you just move the current pointer one step to the right. So current will point to current dot next. And you come out of the while loop. So this process will happen for all the elements and you get the sorted array and now you return the head of the linked list. So the head of the linked list will contain the new connections and the duplicates will be removed. Now let's try to run the code. The test cases are running successfully. Let's submit the code. 
there you have it our solution has been accepted so the time complexity of this approach is o of m where m stands for the number of nodes in the input linked list and the space complexity is constant o of 1 because we are not declaring a new linked list or not building a new link we are just changing the connections between the nodes that's it guys thank you for watching and i'll see you in the next video